The filtering options combined with some of Monday.com's more niche features brings improved ways of presenting your data to you. In this video, we'll show you how you can use the filtering options in Monday.com to make the platform work for you. On every board, you'll see a toolbar at the top with the option to filter your data. But you can use this to filter in two different ways. Press the filter icon and the basic filtering options will appear. And from here, you can pick and choose which elements you want to filter by. You'll see every cell input from each column to pick from. Now, some of them such as values that are individual to each item won't be of much use here. But if you want to see all of your items under a general filter, such as all of the items in a certain stage of completion or a certain product, you can pick a certain status within the field that represents it. Now the table will filter through only those items. And if you want quick access to this, you can use the save as a new view button to instantly give yourself a view to see the table with your filter. These filter options will only show you items that are included in your selections. It means that if you want to be more specific, you need to constantly switch out filtering options or have multiple views to accommodate them. This is where the advanced filters come in. If you press the down arrow next to the filter icon, you can unleash the advanced filters. Here is where you can get down to the nitty gritty of filtering. First, choose the column that you want to filter by. Then add the condition, which is one of the big differentiators compared to simple filters. Finally, pick all of the values that are relevant to your condition. So for example, for the sales of a security service company, if you want to see all of the items in this board that are not your two big ticket services, you can select the is not condition and then the two you want to exclude. Then you can layer an extra filter to it if you want to add more. You can choose operators and or here to specify if the filtered items can be relevant for either filter or if it needs to be relevant for both to appear. This will set the operator for all filters that follow it. So if you need to dig deeper than this, then this is where creating separate views will give you the flexibility that you need. Alternatively, you can create a new filter group that accommodates a fresh set of extensions from the main filter set. We hope that this quick breakdown of the filter options helps you with your work. But if you need someone to help set up with your Monday system, let us know by contacting us using the links in the description. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And from all of us here at Enable, have a fantastic day.